Hey there, StarCraft fans, it's Falco Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of Circa Brood War Remastered. Today it's going to be Rush and Snow here on Overwatch. It's yet another RJB replay, you probably knew that. Top left, it's going to be Rush. He's taken second place in ASL in the last couple of years, 21 and 22 specifically. And at the bottom right, it's going to be Snow. He has not won an ASL, but maybe 17 is the chance that he needs. So a PVT here. They said something in Korean to each other. I do not speak Korean, and it would pass by too fast for Google Translate on my phone. So, yeah, probably just some friendly banter. Again, this is Overwatch with weird expansions in the middle that are only minerals, no gas, and high ground behind them. So, hard to hold, and the reward is minimal. So, nah. we'll see if somebody takes one of those today. Expansions, fairly, fairly standard. Third base is on the high ground with two narrow ramps to get up. We've got expansions on the corners on the high ground as well. And expansions at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. Both with two ramps leading up to it. One wide and one narrow. Alright, what's the play? What's the play going to be here? Honestly, gateway, no real surprise. Barracks here from Rush. He respects Snow way too much, I think, to try to go for a command center first play against a Protoss. That's just death. You can kind of get away with a Nexus first play against Terran, but mostly on four-player maps, not so much a two-player map thing like Overwatch is. Yeah, yeah, I would not even... Not even give it a shot, man. All right. Well, it's going to be PBT, right? We're going to see Zealots, Dragoons, Vultures, Siege Tanks, Goliaths. Observers are going to be in play, too. And other than that, I'm not sure anything else is really guaranteed to be seen unless I, I didn't say SCVs and probes, but come on. Goes without saying, don't you think? Steve the SCB scouting out to see what is up down here in the bottom right. He knows that's where the Protoss is living. Scouting him out's going to be the easiest job he's ever had in his entire life. So we are making a Zealot. For defensive purposes or for aggressive purposes. Honestly, the placement of the gateway, to me, indicates... There you go. Let's get a hit off on that SCV. You're not going to get any more hits on that thing. Probably not. Yeah, aggression. We're going to send the SCV across. See what we can get done with it. Factory on the way. And are we going to build a bunker here? I would not even build a bunker here. Supply depot? Yeah, there's a bunker. Hmm. You can be a little bit tricky with this and get the bunker up and keep the Zealot from scouting the fact you don't have a base yet and keep Snow guessing, but I think he's just going to run by and he's going to see there's not a second base and that just... I don't know why this bunker's here. I really don't understand why this bunker's here. Yeah, I mean, look, he sees there's not a command center. He sees there's not one being built here or here. He's like, okay, cool. You got a factory up before you went for an expansion. Neat. Like, I don't know why that... I don't know where that bunker exists, unless I guess there are future Dragoons coming. Look at that narrow little choke you have to waddle through. Yeah, the sell it, man. 47 hits from a Marine. Well, it's burst though, right? And there's multiple bullets per burst, so it's like... Okay, Marine dies. Zealot dies. Dragoon shows up. Yeah, this is pretty much snow. <laughs> Snow is... Uh, there's, uh, yeah. Snow's just going to show up and make your life terrible. Did this Dragoon get two Marine kills because the Zealot... Oh my gosh. Because the Zealot softened them up. Crazy. Well, finally expanding here is Rush. And bam. Nexus warping in from Snow now. Singularity charge on the way. This Dragoon's going to live because there's only one Marine in this bunker. It would have died... And now we're at the point of the game where Dragoons sit outside and fire on the bunker, and uh, it's fun, but there are Siege Tanks out, so I don't think we're going to play that game today. I don't think Snow wants to play it. Siege Tanks are already here because of the factory timing. Another Dragoon's coming out, but I don't know what your plan is. If you have enough Dragoons, you can kind of jump on this tank and kill it. There's not That's not even a full bunker either. Mm, I would try it if I was Snow. Really would. SCV comes down for scout number two. Says, uh-huh, uh-huh. You got a second Nexus here? Cool. Blah. 
That's how uh, SCVs sound when they die. Second fact on the way from our guy Rush. How many factories will he go up to before trying to expand? For a long time, it was basically five fact. You want to get five factories up on two bases, get incredibly secure, move out, get a third, and then win the game from three bases. But we have seen some Terrans being able to do this in a PVT where they get up three factories on two base, then take the third, and they're still pretty safe doing it. So we'll see what Rush wants to do, whether it's more modern style TVP, nice main R transfer timing by the way, or more of an old timey PVT Storata gem. Quick robo facility because who knows what this machine shop is doing. Not Snow, he does not know what it's doing. It could be getting spider mines right now. It's not, we know that because we are observers. We can see all the things that are happening here. Fairly quick armory, I'd say, from Rush. I don't know if that means he wants faster Goliaths. Hmm. I mean, you do a better job picking off observers if you have stuff that can shoot up. That's fair. Man, he's not even getting a third fact. Is Rush going to go... Like a two fact expand? What a weirdo. <laughs> What I like about StarCraft is certain ideas are kind of entrenched in casters' minds. They've seen so many games and so many things that they're like, the normal thing to do is this. And then the players are like, we don't have to do that. We're not locked into these decisions, you know. We're going to do something else. And then the casters are like, what? Yeah, this is me being like, you have two factories, sir. There's a comm set. There's a scan. It says, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. nothing crazy at all. Here comes the OBS. No spider mines to kill, but hey, better safe than sorry. Siege mode is not done, by the way. Karam boost is on the way now. Uh, interesting. And again, that bunker is not full. Oof. Not enough to one volley down a tank. Probably two volley down a tank. But that's a lot of siege tanks, actually. Even if they're not sieged up. Having five siege tanks here is pretty tough. Yeah, man. Maybe this is just a straight-up two-base push. I don't know if I like this from Rush, but it is a bit out of the current meta. But this is maybe a bit of an older game, too, so who cares about meta? Oh, there we go. Third CC under construction with the existence. I'm just making sure I'm not entirely blind here. There you go. Goliath used to snipe obs. That's what I'm talking about. Two factories expand. All right, Rush. I'm cool. Third base warping in, immediately getting scanned by Rush. The timing on that was just fantastic. Scans the natural, sees the vacuum cleaners. Says, all right, man, fast reaver. This isn't even a great map for reavers. Yeah, some units are coming back because they're like, mm, there's going to be drops in here at some point. Let's make sure we got a tank. Maybe a turret in the mineral line would be good here, too, against incoming shuttled rivers. Stargate on the way. Templar archives. Hmm. So we're going to make arbiters and reavers here pretty early from snow. I like it. I like it. Starport coming in. Whether that's going to be a wraith. Oh, maybe a, a wraith to chase around that shuttle, which is absolutely coming because that's a gravitic drive upgrade. Snow just expanding again. He's, you gotta out expand the Terran player. You gotta pick off tanks. He hasn't killed any tanks yet, so he's like, well, let's double expand effectively then. Does not have the money to quite do that now because he's busy making dragoons and scarabs and stuff. Which is fair and all sorts of reasonable. So, now that the third CC is done, we fire up two more factories, up to four for Rush. Which is not either five or three. High ground siege tank says what? Mm, Dragoon's got to get out of there. This probe's been over here. Like, can I just? I'd like to receive the order to build a nexus, please. Hey, there it is. There it is. Arbiter tribunal coming in, as prophesied by the production tab. Scans out, sees what's up. And sees two Reavers and gets free hits off. Ow. 
Oh, shuttle dies, reaver dies, one reaver alive. Absolutely <laughs> getting away, trying to get up on this high ground as little as possible. Observer gets sniped again. That snipe on that shuttle was big. And this reaver is dead. I think he knows it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, with the reaver gone, that's most of the oomph from Snow's setup. So Rush, going to land his third base up, have enough to fend against a handful of Dragoons, without a doubt. We're, we're going to try to come... All right, fine. Never mind. Snow decided to come up the ramp anyway. He's got no attack upgrades at all. He just has Dragoons. And in fairness, here we go. We're trading out Dragoons for tanks. That's what we have to do. Are we going to deny this third base? Maybe, actually. Hold on a second. No. He's like, mm. oh, no, he's coming back. He's like, we do enough. Are there more tanks responding to this? Yes, there absolutely are. Siege it up. Huh. So, I like Snow's position. He's making Arbiters. He's at a fourth base for a minute. He delayed the third base of Rush, and it was kind of late from Rush anyway. Here at 11 minutes. Plus one attack is coming in for these ground units for the Protoss. Mechie Max at the plus one. Killing his own tank for easier exit out of the natural base, main base area. Stasis coming in for the Protoss player. And everything's aight. So what's going on in the world? Uh, oh, my daughter won her second soccer game this season. She's on a new team. There are some better kids. She had a team last fall. But I don't, I think they had a, like a five game losing streak to end of the season. And she was really bummed about that. But I mean, it's like, I don't know, 10 year old soccer. Like it's not the end of the world, but she's 10. So, hey, anyway, new team is great. They've won two games in a row already this spring season. And she's very happy about it. So, yay, sports ball. All right, Rush breathes a bit of a sigh of relief. He's on three bases. He feels pretty sturdy and secure. Snow's just expanding like a madman, just zerging it up, right? Another base top right. Call it a day. Scans here, scans here. Probably knew about this base already. I'd be surprised if he was like, oh my gosh, there's a base over here. Probably is aware of that. Rush firing up a couple more factories to bring him to a grand total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. Eight factories on three bases. Looking great. Snow's maybe back for round number two of picking off some of those siege tanks with Dragoons. Recalls coming in along with the EMP. That seems appropriate. Both those upgrades are coming in at the same time, right? Because recalls are attempted to be countered by EMP most often, I would say. Sometimes they miss, sometimes they're too late. Ah, Snow's actually taken this minerals only base, but he goes, I would say, it's a good scan there. Pretty comfortable, right? He's got a bit of a contain here. He's got some high ground. That's going to be tough. With two Reavers on top there, and it's Snow Reavers. These are not random average Brood War Reavers. These are Snow Reavers. They're going to get a ton of value. Did the first Reavers get a ton of value? Considering the shuttle died, I'd say they did as well as they could. Because <laughs> that's the key. How do you kill Reavers? Well, if you destroy the shuttle, especially as Terran, it gets a lot easier. I guess Zerg also killing the shuttle is nice. Here comes the Arbiter. Million gates. Million gates. Oh my gosh, the gateway count here. But Snow's on one, two, three, four, five, six bases at 14 minutes. You can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. You can have 17 gates if you're on six bases. It's fine. It'll be fine. Yeah, he's expanding bottom left. I think I said that already. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Easily seven bases. Rush is in. 
trouble, ladies and gentlemen. See, and then you come up, you take a reaver shot, you have to siege up, then you unseeds, then you creep forward, and it's just... An incredibly slow-moving Terran army is much less threatening than a... Oh my gosh, Snow, what are you doing? Than a nice stasis, than an absolutely fast-moving giant Terran army like this, right? Right, plus two, plus one upgrades there. Versus plus two attack, no armor, but armor upgrades are kind of an afterthought for Protoss anyway. And then, permacloaked. And snow taking this base is cheeky. It is a cheeky base. Ah, Reaver, Reaver. So it's just, it's slow moving death ball is what this is. Great stasis. Eddie stasis is in, goes for it. Are you kidding me? Reavers getting target fired in particular, maybe. But oh my gosh. One of them is absolutely dead. The other one happening. Is there enough reinforcing? Vultures are behind the siege tanks and coming up the ramp a little bit too hard for snow. He backs it out. Backs it out. <sighs> Look, it's a larger scale of trading out Dragoons for Siege Tanks here, right? Little Vulture Adventure coming on by. How many cannons do we have to deal with? Two. That seems fine. This base is in trouble, though, if these Vultures want to check it out. I like that there's nobody mining here. It's just, it's a Nexus. So it's like, I'm maxed out. I don't want to spend some more supply on more than 70 probes. And the Vultures are like, uh-huh. This is very cheeky of you, Snow. What if we shut this down? <laughs> Vultures going after a Nexus is always a bit dicey, but they got plus two attack, and there's a huge number of them. These guys fighting would actually... Oh my gosh. Can he save it? Storm is good. No, he barely gets the Nexus. That was close. That was super, super close, man. Nexus down. But again, this was kind of a vanity Nexus for Snow. He didn't really need that. By the way, hit that like button. Subscribe too. Trying to get up to 100,000 subs here in 2024. Thanks, everyone. Who is a longtime loyal subscriber? I'm here six times a week with StarCraft content, y'all. I do not miss days. I do not miss weeks. I never disappear. So if you're like, where'd Falcon go? I haven't seen him post anything for a few days. Well, YouTube just chose not to show you my videos. You can come right here to youtube.com slash Falcon Paladin. See what I've been up to every single day. <laughs> Dragoons, big time hits. Trying to come up this and then down this. And it's tricky and the storms are good. Siege tank count is beefy. And Rush is taking this mineral base too. It's the only place he can go. This is a desperation base. This was a whatever base. I'm cool base. Snow is... Mm, here's the thing. Protoss can look really ahead in a PvT for the first 15 minutes or so. Like, they're just maxed out. They have a million bases. But then the mech ball starts rolling, and suddenly they've got plus three attack, and suddenly... Oh! You got a recall on top of the army they sent to kill the top right base. Snow! <laughs> oh, just the casual flyover recall. That's what you want to do. Oh. <laughs> and then Rush says, all right, fine. But he has to commit more stuff to this, right? Uh, now this is less defended. I'm sure the top right base might die, but top right base, yeah, might. And this left side base is back. So, it's, so look, I was saying, Protoss can look really ahead, and then Terran starts moving around with their giant caterpillar death ball. Although I don't know, Reavers are technically caterpillars, right? 
So it's a little bit tricky. But are we going to get an EMP attempt on any of these at all? Oh, my gosh. Or are we just not going to? Okay. Recola. Big recall here at the third base of Rush. SCVs evacuate. Dragoons. What are they doing? Ooh, they're trying to. Okay. Science Festival gets sniped. That's definitely an expensive thing to lose there. Supply depots getting shot down. Those are more about blocking this ramp than providing supply. So maybe not as big of a target. Storming the ramp. So reinforcing mech has a hard time getting up here. Are you kidding? Dude. So Rush loses his third base as he gets a new fifth base up. Kind of? These probes are like, die. They were hiding in a corner. Uh, they're all dead. That's very fun. Look at him landing the command center with active Protoss in his grill. Okay. Well, um, hmm. I just think Snow's all right. I guess Rush. He didn't lose his third base. Major gold star for that. He got a fifth base. Major gold star for that. 68 SCBs remain. It's not like he's hurting economically. But here comes Snow marching in again. Zealots, Dragoons, not really the intent, I don't think, to kill the army here, but definitely kill a bunch of tanks. Make Rush a lot less scary. Oh, he forces a liftoff on the command center, too. SCBs evacing again. If this just keeps happening to Rush, he's going to get picked apart. Yeah, this is just, we're going to lose some Dragoons here. But we got the command center, and that's what we came for, as well as some of you tanks. We're going to fall back now to this high ground position where we feel safer. Oh, this is absolutely problematic. Ultimately, very problematic here. Yeah, I think Snow has this. I think most of you coming into this game are like, Snow's a monster. Especially in PvT. He's just being a little bit of a bully. Terran players a lot. Especially recently. And, ooh, he's gonna catch that Arbiter. Oh, the stasis first, though. The defensive stasis is hilarious. And then this Arbiter is like, doo, 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 doo. oh, but the Goliaths are waiting for it. There's not a lot of dead airspace over there. 199 to 190 supply, but Snow has a 4,000 mineral bank and a million, another great recall. Another great recall. Just. That's it. I mean, that's the trick here against Mech, right? How does Zerg defeat Mech? Drops. A lot of drops. That's a big time part of it. Or incredible queen control with spawn brutaling. That's harder to do, I think. But that's what a recall is. In this situ it's a drop. A recall is a drop. It's just. I don't know. Has anybody ever timed how long it takes to get. Like, say, six overlords to unload on a base compared to a recall of a similar number of units on a base, right? It's probably faster for the Protoss, but not by, like, a ton. Yeah. So this base dies. All right, Rush. Putting some work in. Besides, trying to get across this bridge, but the pathing of the Dragoons betrays him. Once again, Zealots in here. Where are the... I just don't think the Vultures have really been doing their job against Zealots as well as they need to. I guess they did wipe out that whole group. I spoke too soon there. <laughs> uh, hmm. More Reavers in production. Snow's up. He's been able to remax. His bank is gone. Whoa. I mean, when you fire up 12 Zealots and 4 Dragoons and a Reaver at the same time, you can go through your bank fairly quickly. might come down to this battle right here. Zealots in the front, eating the vulture shots. Stasis catches three of the tanks on the right side. SCV's coming in here. No, they're going to walk right into a storm. No, the storm gave up, but there's still way too much Protoss here for these SCVs to be comfortable or any of the Terran units. And suddenly, everything Terran is dying, and that's a GG. Rush taps out. Snow. Gets the win with one incredibly, incredibly great display there. My goodness. Oh, my goodness. That was oof. Oof, oof, oof.
A disgustingly good display. Yeah, I lost this Nexus. Yeah, I lost this Nexus. It came back, though. It got better. And yeah, he lost this top right base, too. But he just had so many bases so fast. He got 3-2 upgrades. He was keeping that tank count reset with attacks over and over and over again. He got some nice recalls up. And just had enough money to kind of Zerg Swarm overwhelm and get that win. Get it. Get it. Got it. Good. Incredible. What a display. I, I don't want to keep saying that, but it's snow. You clicked on this for snow, probably. You're all like, man, I want to watch snow do some PVT today. And I got you. I got your back, homie. So, yeah. Let's just out expand the Terran. Check. Kill tanks. Check. Have a ton of, have more money than the Terran player. Check. He had stasises. He had reavers. He had all the tools. And Rush was just kind of... Eh. Yeah, he's never able to really threaten Snow today without killing some of the bases that probably belonged to Rush anyway. 193 to 174,000 points. Rush out producing the Protoss, but getting out killed by the Protoss. That's tough. The building's raised 16 to 13, and Snow outspending the Terran by I Jane by a ginormous amount of what did we get here maths maths time 14,000 resources 14,000 resources in 24 minutes is a lot of resources in 24 minutes Ooh. so that's your gg well done snow and that's going to be it for me today this has been falcon paladin coming at you with yet another edition of starcraft brood war remastered go ahead hit that like button hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today you can also catch me on twitter facebook patreon and twitch all at slash falcon paladin and until next time as always thank you so much for watching and you take care of yourself